Hello everybody, this is Maria. Thank you, Anyas, for letting us share our story, our tips, so we can hopefully help others by just being us, ourselves, just the way you're helping the entire world just by being yourself and doing what you love. Um, you could easily make money from this, but I love how unselfish and pure and just creative um, this idea was and and I want to be part of it <laughs> so I found you in January of this year so almost a year and last December on my birthday I made a decision that I wanted to be truly happy because I had been angry miserable sad the last two years previous to my birthday because now I know it's because of the mental chatter that I, have, that I had in my mind, all the fears. So I graduated college in 2015. In that entire year, great things happened. I met an amazing guy in an internship. And then we went our separate ways and I had been, everything went downhill after that. So in 2016 and 17, I was waiting for things to get better. I was waiting for him to contact me. I was waiting just for things to, to be good. Like, and I was very stubborn. I was like a child, like, I won't be happy until this happens. And I did a lot of things to make, you know, my specific person, like, jealous or angry through you know social media and I would stalk him too and I would cry every week you know because we weren't together and he didn't contact me and but last December you know it's like you can only take so much and things were getting worse and worse at the job too like I was getting bullied in a way I, w I felt very like in a low state and last summer, I'm like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to be happy. Like, I'm done waiting for, for life to get fixed. Like, I'm done waiting for others to come into my life to make me happy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the work in. I'm going to do whatever it takes. So I meant it with all my heart and body and energy. And then things immediately, almost immediately changed. <laughs> um, I discovered you in January through how to get your ex back. <laughs> Um, and I clicked on it and it was the first meditation that I had ever listened to about self-love and it felt really, really weird to love myself through that meditation, but it felt weird in a good way, weird that I had never experienced it before, that I had never been taught. And in that first meditation, you recommended the book, love yourself as it's, as if it's the last day or something like that. I bought it and listened to it that same day and like it's like a new world clicked in my mind like that loving myself was a thing you know that loving yourself is it was like magic I couldn't understand that back then now I do like it's been 11 months and a lot of amazing things have happened into my life and I know it's because of loving myself first of all um, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard it's half of the week um, to love myself, to take responsibility, responsibility for chaos that happens outside of me, but I know it's all of me, and, and that's the hard part, like, did I create that? Is that in me, you know? But I've been doing love affirmations, love meditations, whole pono pono visualization writing just I just switch from all those I don't do those every day or every week I just whatever feels right I want to be more consistent I'm going to be more consistent because I know things kind of deviate off when I stop doing them but I've been more consistent as weeks or months pass by but still I don't I do affirmations every single day which I think are the easiest but I want to you know, do writing every day, do meditations. But I'm studying for my licensed architecture license exam. So that's taking the other half of my, my week. And, and the first half is through my corporate job, which is not my dream job. But so another thing that I manifested is 
I do my, my dream job on the weekends and I design homes. And I manifested these two dream clients that I never thought I would ever have, especially this young. And they're the types of clients that don't care about the money. They care about the art, about the design, you know, like the, what every architect wants to have as a client. So they love me. They love my, personali- my personality. They love all my ideas. And I feel super grateful to have them as my client. And I raised my, my, my price. And it took some work, you know, to see my value of like, why would they pay me more? They can hire somebody that has more experience. But I had to see the value in me of, you know, I have this and this and this that nobody else has. And I'm perfect. I'm unique. There's nobody else like me. And still, so I feel like that's the easier part, you know, the job, my dream job to visualize it. I feel like I'm still having trouble with my specific person. I let the the one from last year go. I have a new crush now, but I feel like there's something in me that's blocking him from entering into my life. He's a coworker from my corporate job, so I like that we're close, you know, but we're so far away at the same time. Uh, so thank you, Agnes. I know I'm reaching the seven minute limit. Um, thank you so much. Um, I hope somebody um, gets inspired by my story and I get to help at least one person just like you've helped me and thousands of people in the world. Have an amazing Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye.